Hi everyone! So today I'm here to talk about my superfood, which happens to be lentils. So I don't have any on hand with me, but as you can see from all of these really cool pictures, there's like an assortment of really cool colors here, and that's what lentils are. They're delicious, and you can put them in a lot of different things. Um, and what's awesome about them is that they are one cup of cooked lentils has about 37% of your daily iron. And iron is one of the highest deficiencies we see in minerals throughout the country and the world. So if you know that one cup, cup of cooked lentils has almost half of your daily requirement for iron, it's definitely a food you should put on your to get list when you go to the food store. So one of the cool recipes that I found for lentils that I think is super awesome is tabbouleh, which is a really cool type of um, salad. You can serve it warm, you can serve it cold, mostly so served cold. But you can do a lentil, um, your cooked lentils with olive oil, mint, parsley, tomatoes, shallot or onion. And it's a nice filling lunch or dinner. You could put it as a side, you can eat it as like a whole meal itself. But what's great is it contains so many other awesome whole foods such as tomatoes and shallots. It has some really great herbs in it so you don't feel like you have to overly season. Um, it should only need like a little bit of salt and pepper which is great if you have really high sodium intake and you're trying to cut back on that. It also contains um, a good amount of lemon juice which is really great for your digestive system. So eating lentils um, is great too because it's kind of like almost a blank canvas. You can put a lot of different things with it to make it into whatever kind of meal you want it to be. And like I said before, it's so high in iron that it's just so good for you to consume on, you know, as much of a level as you can. And, you know, I have here a cookbook that has so many lentil recipes. This is actually a Better Home and Gardens. This is an older one, but I actually have a newer one down at college and it contains so many recipes that have lentils in them, which is really great to see that um, more people are starting to talk about them and learn about lentils and incorporate them because for me, it's not something I was growing up, I grew up eating and I never really heard about it until I got to college and now I feel like I see it in a lot of nutritional blogs and in a lot of cookbooks too, which is awesome since it's so nutritious for you. And I say, hashtag, let's eat more lentils. So if you guys get a chance, definitely add that to your shopping cart next time you're at the food store.